Certainly an increased effort to add testing sites like this one in National City and do more outreach campaigns within the Hispanic community. But the Chicano Federation says they want more to be done. This all comes as California now leads the nation in coronavirus cases. California passed a grim mile marker Wednesday. We now have more coronavirus cases than any other state, including New York, which was once the American epicenter of the virus. If California were its own country, it would have the fifth most cases in the world. It's just another reminder, if I need to remind anybody, uh, of the magnitude uh, of impact that this virus continues to have. Beyond the totals, California still has a lower infection rate than New York when you consider population. That distinction is important when comparing data. Closer to home, the county uses it to look at how the virus is penetrating communities differently. And one reason why the Chicano Federation says Latinos are disproportionately affected. The people paying the highest price right now are the Latino community and communities of color who are once again disproportionately affected by this because of the systematic failures. So we have to think beyond that and we have to think about system-wide change in order to be effective. Hispanics and Pacific Islanders have a case rate of more than 1,000 for every 100,000 residents, more than double any other race. Overall, the county saw nearly 155 cases per 100,000 residents, well above the state limit. In order for this metric to return to normal, we would have to have 234 uh, cases or less on a daily basis for 14 days. This comes a week after more than 1,200 CDC employees signed a petition calling on the agency to declare racism a public health crisis. I think we all can agree that um, um, racism or social injustice is a public health crisis. I don't think that there is a dispute about that. Since the beginning of this pandemic, we have uh, uh, made outreach to the uh, Latino population as we looked at the data and determined that uh, the Latino population had the largest number of cases associated with this, this pandemic. The county says it is listening to the feedback and plans to make changes to their outreach campaign as they continue to work to get out the message about the dangers of coronavirus.